One second, Future Callum here. Before we get into this video, I just want to say there's going to be a 30% discount for Prime Day while also having the code in the description that gives you an extra 12% off if you buy it through the AOSU website. This will be running from July the 5th to July the 22nd, so make sure you get yours while you can with, again, 30% and also an extra 12% off on top. Anyway, back to the video. Now, I know everyone here has heard of the company Ring Doorbell and what they do. But what if I told you I found a company that do the exact same without the extended fees that you have to pay to keep the recordings? And today, that's a company called Aosu, and they've been happy enough to sponsor this video by sending out one of their doorbells, but they have not got any say in what I say about their product. So with that being said, let's go over some of the pros and cons that I've found. I've had this now for around about three weeks. You know, I've had some intensive use out of it, obviously getting packages every day, I get my fair share of using this product. But before we do jump into the pros and cons list, let's go over the specs of this product. So I've got Notion open with all of the specs so I don't miss anything on this. So to kick this off, let's go over the five megapixel ultra HD camera. This is also 40% improved from 2K. So I don't know if that means the same as what a camera like this is, where it's down sampled from say 6K, 7K, 8K down into 4K. I don't know if that's what that means, but the quality is definitely there. Next up is the triple motion detection for no false alerts. So you don't get, you know, random leaves blowing through the wind and setting off your notifications saying someone's walking towards the door. Then what I mentioned in the beginning saying there's no hidden fees, unlike with Ring Doorbell, you have to pay a monthly subscription. This allows you 60 days loop recording with its eight gigabyte built in memory at no monthly fee. So you can keep going back up to 60 days if you need to. Absolutely free as well, no extra costs apart from just the cost of the doorbell. And obviously it comes with everything in the box, the doorbell, the receiver that goes inside in the home, and also all of the fixtures and fittings to get it on the door or on the side of the wall. Next up is the 180 days from one single charge with its 58% consumption reduced low power wireless connection. This basically means that because it's only picking up certain activities, the battery is gonna last a hell of a lot longer than say something that's constantly recording, but we will get into that in the pros and cons anyway. But yeah, that's just obviously, so you know from one single charge, this thing's gonna last 180 days. Next up is the field of view. This is at 166 degrees. So instead of it being more horizontal, this is a very vertical looking camera, just so then it can pick up the person from head to toe. So if you've got parcels close to your door, this is gonna definitely pick it up if you've got it in the right position. Unlike some doorbells, they're too horizontal. You don't actually see them when they go underneath a certain level. This is powered with 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz for easy connectivity. Now we run 5 gigahertz because we're lucky enough to have that in our area, but if you don't, you can use 2.4 gigahertz. Then we're gonna talk about the nighttime features. This has got eight built-in 850 NM enhanced infrared lights to ensure that you see every detail at night. Now I can tell you at nighttime, it does work really well, but we've got a light on the outside of our door, so it pings it back to sort of color and everything because everything in black and white is very hard to read. So it doesn't really give you the benefit of the doubt if you do need the recording. So I definitely recommend having a light outside that just sort of blinds the person when they're walking to the door and then it will change to color mode and you'll be able to get every, you'll be able to get even more quality from the footage if needed. That's just more of a security tip on my part. The camera works absolutely fine if you don't have a light, just personal preference for me. A cool feature that I found is the quick reply to direct video calling. So you use a preset message to just send a quick reply. So if you can't answer the doorbell, you can just click a button and it'll say like, please leave the parcel here, or I'm not in, come back later, and so forth. Now with these being outdoors, obviously it's gotta be weatherproof. Now these are featured with an IP65 waterproof rating, so that is certified for all kinds of weather. That's heat, snow, sleet, storm, thunder, lightning, all that good stuff. If it is not under a cover of some sort, like ours isn't, it gets wet, but it, you know, it survives. And then the last feature on the specs is the dual power mode. Now this has the internal battery that you can charge or you can actually physically wire this in. So that's an added bonus if you don't wanna keep charging it up. But anyway, enough of the specs. Let's go over the pros and cons. Now we're gonna go over the cons first because it's a shorter list. So we'll get through them quicker. So first off that I've noticed is there's no option to actually have it fully recording. So it doesn't constantly record. It only records at certain intervals. So you set your zones, uh, which we'll get into in a moment, and you set your zones and then it will pick up certain things and record at that time. And that's when it will tell you, you know, if someone's passing, if someone's standing still lurking, and if, you know, your doorbell's been rang, that's the things it will record. It won't just record all day. 
so you can scroll back through timelines because as the next con is it doesn't always pick everything up sometimes it, you know it's, it's it's probably one out of ten times it doesn't pick up someone walking past but it's that kind of thing that you want it to record continuously then if it's not going to pick up one thing it's that just a peace of mind so maybe in a software update that could be possible but then i guess you'll be charging this thing every two weeks if it's just continuously going or you might even be able to set times that you record so through the night time through the day if you're in the house it doesn't matter if you're asleep you want it recording all the time if that makes sense then we've got there's not many chime sounds so there is three options to choose from and that's from the actual doorbell the receiver and your phone so you know there's only three doorbell noises if you will it'd be nice if you could add your own in there whether that's possible or not i don't know the main one's just the ding dong ding dong, you know what i'm saying it'd be nice having a couple more chimes in there but that's just me. This one's more of a personal preference, not so much a con because uh, technically it works, but when you go to charge this device, if you've got the anti-theft system like activated on the app, if you go to unplug it from the, the dock on the on the, the door, it thinks you're stealing it and it just it goes crazy. It like the noise is that of a actual burglary alarm like people would notice okay something's being stolen so yeah that's more just a personal preference that i think if you put the pin in to pop it out it should sense that the pin's been pushed I, but then i guess if someone's got a pin they could just steal it so maybe that's just me personal preference maybe i should just learn to turn it off before i go to charge it but yeah at least it works so that's actually a plus in a way and moving on actually to the positives this list is huge so let's start off with the beginning is the fact again you can choose separate zones so what that means is there's a lot of laws and stuff about this that you can't record your neighbors houses and all that stuff so you can set zones which is good so you can have your front zone at the door that picks up human faces and then the zone at the back could be for the sort of miscellaneous if it picks up cars and whatnot. So that's a cool feature to have the two zones. You can ha you can have five zones if you really wanted to, but I don't know why you would. Uh, you'd probably just do one big zone. But that's the first pro. The second pro is that you can turn on and off the human only detection. So again, you don't want to pick up cars. You don't want your notifications constantly going off. You can set it to just human faces, which I think is insane how it detects that through motion that's crazy to me uh, but the next one is even more crazy if you have the cloud plus which is a paid subscription they have multiple subscriptions though so you can really you know decide what one's best for you but you don't have to have them this is just for certain features so they have a thing called uh, a face id picks up your face and recognizes you're coming home that that's incredible to me. The fact that I could be walking to my house and it wouldn't notify me I'm walking to my own door where it does at the moment because it picks me up as a human. So it's like, ah, someone's come in. Where if it's got my face, it might be like, welcome home. You know, that's pretty cool. I d I d yeah, that's just me, but I think that's cool. Next one is the amazing video quality and audio cooling. Now, a lot of the times you get delays or you get crackling or you get, you know, there's just no good communication through these doorbells where this one is so to the point like I talk through it and it picks me up exactly how it should and I can hear them as clear as day and I think there's actually two different voice tones that you can do as well like one's clown and one's something else chipmunk or something so if you don't want your voice being heard as uh, so to say if you're a very isolated person you don't want someone to know it's you in the house or whatever you can change your voice which I think that's genius completely free storage at no added payment because you know that's one thing you don't want to be paying near 100 odd plus to buy this product and then have to pay more to keep your own recordings of your own property i think that's weird to me um that's a good thing with this company is they don't do that they make you pay for the product and then you pay if you want to have a subscription for the added benefits of having extra cloud storage or whatever you want the face id features and stuff if you don't want it you don't have to have it which is great i love that obviously the next one's being able to view the app anywhere you are so you don't have to be you know even in the uk as long as your doorbell is charged on and connected to the wi-fi that's all you need and obviously the root of pl the, the plug in the house has to be plugged on as well i did notice this when i plugged it into my desk i turn everything off at my desk and unfortunately the doorbell lost connection to the router so make sure that's always plugged in somewhere that you don't turn off another cool feature is that it works with the assists you know alexa and google 
it works with those. Got one of those ones that have like the tablet, then I think you can actually ask it to show up the doorbell, which is pretty cool. Next one is obviously the long lasting battery. That's a huge win because I don't really want to be charging it every two weeks, every week, because the reason it's at the front door is so I haven't got it, you know, if it's not on the door and it's charging, how is anyone going to ring the doorbell? Another one, obviously, I've mentioned before is the fact that there's loads of different packages you can choose from when it comes to subscriptions. There's, you know, multiple, so you don't have to always have the highest paid one. You can go for the cheapest one if you just really wanted extra storage. That's another bonus uh, for me, I'd say. This feature is actually pretty cool, which I like. It saves events as snapshots. So basically, if you're recording a video, let's just say if it's making a video and someone's ringing the doorbell, it will actually take snapshots during this and save them as photos so it gives you a more crisper detail because obviously in video you get a lot of motion blur and things like that where if it's taking stills as well as the recording it just gives that extra peace of mind that you're capturing the person say if they're coming to your door to take your parcel or if they're trying to get in it just gives you that peace of mind that you know you've captured them so that's a massive bonus I think a, a huge pro and then the last pro is the way that it actually does record and categorize things so it will tell you if someone's appearing if someone's lurking or staying around if someone's nearby or if someone's passing and then obviously if someone's ringing the doorbell so on the app it will show you you know someone's staying around they're lurking or someone's just appeared from the corner so you know at what point to go to so say you go right I know someone appeared at the corner at this time. So you don't need to go through timelines and search with the stuff. You can literally click on lurking or staying around or whatever they put it as. So then you know exactly what category you need to look for, if that makes sense. But that's all the pros that I've got, pretty much all the features it's got. You know, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It is a doorbell, it works so well with all of these little high-end tech gadgets inside of it, with the motion detection and the crazy stuff like face ID and all that. I can't, I can't fault it really, apart from the cons. Other than that, I can't fault this product. We will go over the price real quick because my phone's about to die. On the actual website, which will be linked down below, I don't know if you can get these on Amazon or not, but if you can, there'll also be a link to the Amazon listing. If not, then it will be to the, the standard website. But the one that I've got is the Video Doorbell Ultra. They are 30% off, so you're gonna save yourself 34 pounds, but they are coming in at 105 pounds if you are in the UK. But if the sale ends by then, you are looking at 140 pounds, which is roughly the same as a ring doorbell but again you don't have them hidden fees so now like i mentioned before i've had this doorbell for around three weeks and i've had to charge it once because when i first had it it wasn't fully charged but since i've had to charge it it's still at like maximum like health if you will it comes with a sticker i will tell you to put this sticker on your door because the amount of looks that i've had through the camera obviously i have the sticker on the door saying you are 24 7 monitoring by aosu security it's just the fact that a lot of people don't like being on camera so a lot of posties and a lot of delivery people uh, so it's just nice that they know while they're walking up to the door they'll see the sticker and say okay in their mind they can be like I need to look my best. Other than that, I mean, this product is definitely one of the top of the line items that I've received and tested. I know that if a parcel goes missing, I have it captured because like I say, I get a lot of parcels and a lot of them are quite expensive parcels because of the companies I work with. So if I'm not in, I can just have that, that peace of mind that I can say, right, my neighbor's in, can you give it to a neighbor? Or, you know, I can say like, take it back to the depot and come back tomorrow when I'm in. It's this kind of thing that you benefit from having a product like this. So it's definitely worthwhile investing in something like this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say a massive thank you for watching till the end, if you have, uh, and please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, or if it gave you some value into what to go for instead of going for a ring doorbell. And remember hit the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss the next upload. I think we've got like, 99% people unsubscribed that watch my stuff so it would really mean a lot to me and help me get to the next level of 100k because that is my that's my overall goal with this channel is just to grow this community and show off some cool tech and give you some insight up and coming stuff that is it from me remember capture create captivate and I'll see you all in the next video